Welcome to Dental Notes and Mnemonics. Today we are going to discuss about the hematoma. Hematoma is a localized collection of blood outside the blood vessels when resulting from the rupture of small blood vessels leading to pooling of blood in the surrounding tissues. Hemorrhage and hematoma are both conditions involving bleeding but they differ in their nature and presentation as well. So understanding these differences is very important. Hemorrhage refers to the escape of blood from the blood vessels into the surrounding tissue which can occur internally or externally. It can be caused by the trauma, infections or underlying medical conditions like hypertension or clotting disorders. Hemorrhage can present as visible bleeding such as from the wound or the nose bleed or as an internal bleeding which is not immediately visible. Hematoma on the other hand is a localized connection of blood outside the blood vessels usually due to trauma or injury. The blood in the hematoma pools under the skin or the uh, within the tissues causing the swollen or bruised area. Hemorrhage is often uh, more immediate and require urgent intervention especially when it is severe and uncontrolled. Hematomas are generally less dangerous but uh, they can cause pain, discomfort and the swelling as the blood clots and is gradually absorbed. Regarding the etiology of hematomas, primarily it is due to the trauma which is due to the result of direct trauma such as falls or accidents. Dental procedures like extraction, injections or surgery can also uh, cause the blood vessels to rupture and leading to hematomas. Conditions like hemophilia or anticoagulant use increase the risk of hematoma formation. Severe infections like abscesses can also cause the blood vessels damage leading to localized bleeding. And surgical procedures for implant may result in hematoma due to manipulation of surrounding tissues. Damage to the vessels during the administration of inferior alveolar nerve or the posterior superior alveolar nerve block can cause hematoma. Hematoma is most common after the uh, local anesthetic of posterior superior alveolar nerve block. Regarding pathophysiology of hematomas, hematoma begin when a blood vessels, it may be artery, veins or capillaries within the tissue rupture due to trauma, pressure or disease. Once a blood vessel is damaged, blood leaks into the surrounding tissues forming a pool of blood outside the vessel. The body responds by initiating the clotting cascade to stop further blood loss. Platelets adhere to the injury site forming a clot and helping to seal the vessel. The body triggers the inflammatory response to clear the debris from the injured area. This results in swelling, redness or pain in the affected area. Over the time, body reabsorbs the blood from the hematoma. The clot is broken down by the enzymes and tissue repair begin reducing the hematoma site be broadly classified uh, based on the location and cause of the hematoma. On the basis of the location, hematoma may be submucosal which is forming beneath the mucosal lining of the oral cavity, periorbital uh, hematoma which is also known as black eye, it forms around the eye area often caused by trauma on the facial region. Buccal space infection uh, typically after a dental extraction or the surgery. Lingual hematoma is uh, formed on the tongue or the floor of the mouth and uh, it may be due to the trauma or the accidental uh, injury such as needle puncture during injection or the surgical procedure. Alveolar hematoma uh, is located in the alveolar socket often after the tooth extraction and it is due to the injury uh, to blood vessels during extraction process. Subperiosteal hematoma is formed beneath the periosteum which is the outer covering of the bone and it is again due to trauma to the bone typically after surgical procedures or the fracture. Causes of hematoma includes the clinical examination mainly, inspection and palpation of the swelling, patient's uh, history, identifying the recent de dental procedures or trauma, imaging, radiographs or uh, uh, CT may be used to rule out other pathologies like abscesses or cyst and uh, hematological test may also be required in some cases to rule out the clotting problems. For the patient with the unexplained hematomas, coagulation profiles are assessed. Clinically, hematoma 
color ranges from red to bluish purplish initially then uh, yellowish or green during resolution it is localized soft or firm swelling and uh, mild to moderate pain can be felt by the patient depending on the size or the location and patient may also uh, face difficulty in chewing sweep, speaking or mouth opening in severe cases regarding the complications of the hematoma though hematomas are generally self resolving but if they are left untreated or drainage is not performed when necessary there is a risk of infection especially in the oral environment a large hematoma in the floor of the mouth uh, can cause swelling that may obstruct the airway which can be life threatening situation if not managed promptly in some cases a hematoma uh, can evolve into a localized infection or abscess requiring drainage and antibiotic treatment in rare cases only unresolved hematomas may lead to long term swelling or fibrosis so let's discuss the management or treatment strategies for the hematoma treatment strategies depend on size and symptoms of the hematoma as well as any systemic factors that may complicate healing initial management is based on the size and the symptoms for the small hematomas which are less than 1 cm in size applying a cold compress and direct pressure is usually sufficient to minimize bleeding and swelling these typically resolve spontaneously within few days medium size hematomas measuring 1 to 3 cm may require additional measures such as compression bandage or close observation with re resolution expected in 1 to 2 weeks large hematomas over 3 cm in size often require aspiration or drainage under sterile conditions combined with the pressure dressings and analgesics to release relieve symptoms and promote healing conservative approaches are the first line of treatment for most hematomas applying a cold compress during the acute phase within first 24 to 48 hours helps to reduce bleeding and swelling direct pressure over the site can stop active bleeding particularly in post surgical or traumatic cases elevating the affected area can also help minimize the swelling in dependent areas for relief of pain non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs are commonly prescribed topical analgesics may also be used to provide the temporary relief can cause increased blood flow to the area and worsen swelling in the initial phase after the injury so wait at least for 24 hours before using warm compresses as such antibiotics are not always necessary in the treatment of oral hematomas but if there are chances of infection increased pain swelling or redness warmth or pus if there is risk of secondary infections with in the patient with a poor oral hygiene or if the patient is immunocompromised having weak immune systems such as those in diabetes or undergoing chemotherapy if the hematoma is extensive or invasive interventions are considered for the large or persistent hematoma that do not respond to conservative treatment Aspiration using the sterile needle is a simple and effective procedure to evacuate collected blood in large tens hematomas causing discomfort for cases where the aspiration is insufficient surgical incision and drainage may be necessary this involves creating a small incision to evacuate the hematoma followed by dressing the wound to promote healing hemostatic techniques such as sutures electrocautery or application of local hemostatic agents are used when active bleeding is present in case where the hematoma is very large it becomes infected or if it causes the difficulty in breathing urgent intervention may be required we have to drain a hematoma systemic factors play a crucial role in formation healing of hematomas in case of blood disorders treatment such as platelet transfusion or corticosteroids are necessary to prevent further bleeding coagulation uh, disorders like hemophilia or uh, require specific therapy such as uh, factor replacement to normalize clotting and uh, facilitate hematoma resolution in case of nutritional deficiencies such as those uh, of uh, vitamin c or b12 must be corrected through supplementation to enhance healing and prevent reoccurrence 
for the patients on anticoagulant therapy temporary adjustment of medication may be required but it should be in the consultation with the patient's physician to minimize the risk of hematoma following the dental procedures treating hematomas involves proactive measures such as applying uh, immediate pressure or cold packs to trauma site screening high risk patient for coagulation disorders before surgical or invasive procedures can prevent further complications proper wound care including maintaining cleanliness and moisture at surgical or trauma site is essential to promote healing and avoid infection follow up care is critical with regular monitoring and dressing changes ensure optimal healing approach to differential diagnosis of hematoma is taking the history of recent trauma or dental procedures systemic symptoms also may indicate abscess or blood disorders clinical examination include palpation as the hematomas are typically non pulsatile firm initially and later they are soft regarding the discoloration they are bluish or purple uh, color suggest hematoma and absence may favors other condition if we do a blanching test the hemangiomas uh, they blanch with the pressure but hematomas do not so radiographs are used to rule out uh, any cyst or bone related lesions ultrasound can differentiate between a solid fluid field or the vascular lesion coagulation profile complete uh, blood count should be done for assessing anemia or platelet abnormalities and to rule out bleeding disorders common differential diagnosis for hematoma is abscess first of all which typically presents with a painful fluctuant swelling often accompanied by systemic signs like fever ecchymosis appears flat diffuse discoloration without swelling and it is usually painless hemangioma is a blue red lesion that blanches on pressure and it is commonly congenital traumatic ulcer displays a painful mucosal break but lacks blood pooling vascular malformations are persistent sometimes pulsatile uh, lesions often accompanied by a audible bruit tachycardia or purpura are related to bleeding disorders and they present as flat discoloration under the skin unlike hematomas which are raised swollen lumps filled with blood due to trauma pitakia are small pinpoint red or purple spot that appear when the small blood vessels break under the skin they are typically less than 3 mm in diameter and do not blanch when they are pressed meaning they don't turn white on the other hand purpura are larger patches of red or purple skin discoloration that occurs when the blood leaks into the skin from ruptured blood vessels they can range from 3 cm 3 mm to 1 cm in size and can sometimes appear slightly raised as well hematoma are typically associated with trauma or injury while petechia or purpura are often linked to underlying medical conditions or blood clotting issues another hematoma which is associated with uh, the children when the primary or the permanent teeth are emerging through the gums is eruption hematoma this results from the trauma to the soft tissues around the erupting tooth as the tooth moves towards the surface of the gum it can cause damage to blood vessels in the gum tissues leading to bleeding and the formation of hematoma this appears as a swelling or bump in the area where the tooth is about to erupt usually near the gum line this can cause discomfort but it is typically not painless unless there is significant pressure from the swelling or it becomes infected eruptive hematoma is self limiting it resolves on its own as the tooth erupts and the swelling subsides if the area become infected or if the swelling causes significant pain medical intervention may be required this could involve drainage or in rare cases the use of antibiotics if the infection is present warm salt uh, water rinses can help alleviate discomfort so with the eruption hematoma uh, we have reached to the end of the video thanks for watching if you found this video helpful or interesting don't forget to like share or subscribe to the channel 
so see you in the next video till then bye bye take care have a nice day